What is up, everybody? Welcome to AK Plays. I'm AK. Let's play. Okay. All right, everybody. So today we've got a challenge video. Now we did a couple of challenges. I like to do usually two per challenge video. Um, now the first one is a purple guns only challenge. And for that one, we did really whatever builds, but we used purple guns. Uh, primarily, I think a lot of my teammates were using, um, I think it was an AUG that was available at one of the vendors. And so they just bought an AUG and uh, used different builds. And then I ran Reclaimer and I picked up the purple covert SRS that was up in the base of operations. No particular reason why, I just figured, you know what, if I'm going to use a purple gun and I'm a Reclaimer so I can't do a ton of damage, might as well do a little bit of burst damage with a sniper. And it was actually proved to be a lot of fun. Uh, wasn't too useful, but occasionally it did some work. Um, but for the most part, my teammates just used their purple guns and did a great job. Uh, the second challenge is a more specific challenge. Uh, I was two Skull MC builds, or Hexo builds, a final measure build with a pulse, and a Deadeye running an, a Police MK17. So both challenges are technically weapon challenges, one being purple weapons, the second one uh, just kind of mandating that we use a Police MK17 on Deadeye with a whole team setup. And both challenges were very, very fun. Uh, the purple challenge was definitely, uh, definitely a challenge. That was, uh, it was pretty tough, but it was, uh, it was a lot of fun. We really enjoyed that one. Uh, the skull builds with the dead eye actually didn't seem that difficult at first when we read what we were supposed to do. I mean, that sounds pretty good on paper. I mean, a couple of hexo builds, a healer, and a dead eye. That's a pretty good setup. Until I put on the police MK17. <laughs> And uh, I like using the bolt when I'm using a dead eye unless I'm turning and burning people with my heel. But to use the police MK17 was a little more difficult than I anticipated. It definitely does damage. I was still hitting in the high 90s um, or better. And I was pretty happy with the damage. Uh, the rate of fire was really, really bad. Uh, the accuracy and stability is very good on it. But the rate of fire was just terrible. And so I made sure to use a heavy mag spring to get my rate of fire up by about 10, 11%. And that allowed it to be a little more usable. So either way, and that challenge became pretty, uh, pretty good as well. We had a lot of fun with it. Uh, both challenges were a success this time. We, uh, we definitely did accomplish them. And we've got a couple of more coming up. I had a bunch of challenges left on my last challenge video. And so if there's any that you want to see in particular, leave them in the comment below and eventually we will get to doing those challenges. But we've got a couple still on the list. I've got uh, a few non-challenge videos coming up. Uh, next challenge video should probably be next week. And in that one, I will have two other challenges that we've got waiting. And it should be a lot of fun as well. But that's it for today's video. I'll stop talking and I will let you guys just watch the challenges. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. If you have a challenge that you'd like us to do in the future, put it in the comments as well. And either way, I will catch you guys tomorrow.
ground on your position. Extraction. you a location. Reach it and your manhunt will be cleared.
safe area. A rogue agent has been neutralized.